All right, in this video, we are looking at relationships shown on scatter plots. Okay, now there's, a f there's different names that different uh, users, textbooks, curriculums, whatever, use for relationships. Um, they all kind of mean the same thing. Uh, sometimes you'll hear the word correlation, right? And we'll use that word from time to time. Basically, what a relationship is, is it's, is it's asking us, as something happens to X, what is happening to Y, and what does it mean, and, and what do we call it? So, if you look at figure one, right, you can clearly see that as X, as your X values go up, right, so as you move this way, as you move from left to right on your graph, your values in Y tend to go up. And not only do they tend to go up, but if you look at this, you could draw a line that kind of goes through this, and you could draw a straight line. So that is called a linear relationship when you can draw a line through the data. And you can do the same thing on figure four. If you look at figure four, you could draw a line through that data too. That kind of evenly splits the data. Now, the difference between figure one and figure four is that in figure one, it goes up as you go from left to right. And in figure four, it goes down as you go from left to right. So if you think of what we mean by positive and negative, if something is trending in a positive direction, that means it's going up. So that would describe figure one. Figure one is a linear relationship because it makes a line. Think of the first four letters of the word linear, right? And we've got linear right here, L-I-N-E-A-R. Well, the first four letters spell line. So positive, this makes a positive linear relationship on figure one, right? Now figure four makes a negative linear relationship because as x gets larger, y decreases, all right? So it kind of does the opposite. So if you look at figure one and figure four, we've kind of figured those out now, like what they are, all right? So if we look at, uh, let's, let's figure out, figure two kind of looks like whatever. It's just stuff's everywhere. There isn't really a relationship. You can't really draw a line through any of it that's going to make any kind of sense. Um, and then figure three looks like there's definitely some kind of a pattern going on. It looks like it follows sort of a curve. Like you start here and you go up, you get to a peak, and then it kind of comes down. Right? So you could sort of draw a line through each side, but you can't use, you can't represent this with one line. You would need something that's either a curve or two lines. So when you have something like that, we call that there is a relationship, but it's called a nonlinear relationship because it does not make one line. Okay? So now let's look at the options they give us. It says, which data set appears to show a nonlinear relationship between its two variables? Well, we know 1 and 4 are linear. 2, we said there's really no relationship of any kind. And 3, that leaves three, right? That would be our nonlinear. So we're going to say the data set in figure three. For B, it says which data set appears to show a positive, so that means it goes up as it goes from left to right, a positive linear relationship between its two variables. And the only one that really gives us that option is figure one. C, which data set appears to show a negative linear relationship. So there is a relationship, but it's negative. It goes down as it goes from left to right. That, of course, is figure four. And that leaves, and it makes sense, too. It fits. Which data set appears to show no relationship between its two variables? That would be figure two. Let's see what Alex says about our answers. Yeah, I like some, right? So you got positive linear relationship here, you have no relationship, you have a nonlinear relationship, so it's, it's not positive or negative because it's nonlinear, does a little bit of both, and then figure four is a negative linear relationship. So let's just look at one more really quick. If you got this, you can start the video and do the topic, otherwise stick around, let's look again. So letter A, which data set appears to show a negative linear relationship between its two variables. So it's going to make a straight line, but it's going to go down as it goes from left to right. And so figure two clearly goes down. It clearly makes a straight line. So it's probably that. The only other one that kind of qualifies for that is figure four does show it going down, 
but it only does it for about half. And then it goes back up. So there again, you're looking at, you know, something that's, uh, that's, that's got a sort of like a bell-shaped curve, they call that, right? So that would be nonlinear. So figure two is the one we're looking for in part A. All right, part B, which data set appears to show a positive linear relationship between its two variables? Well, the only one that shows a line moving up from left to right throughout the whole graph and not just part of it, and a straight line at that is figure one. You can see clearly that as x increases, so does y. So that would be the data set in figure one, which data set assures, appears to show no relationship between its two variables, that's number three. It's like shotgun blast, just kind of all over the place, right? So we'll do that, and then which data set appears to show a nonlinear relationship? So it's showing a relationship, but it's, it, but it's not linear. It's nonlinear. That would be figure four. So it makes like a bell curve, parabola we call that. All right. And away you go. So I hope this, I hope this helps you. And I hope that um, you're able to work on this now successfully.